JBL STX. Yeah. Um, 15 and horn, yeah? This, this is a 15 and horn. There's a bunch of other models. We tested this coupled up with a single 18 sub. Okay. And um, um, price point? Um, this box retails about two seven, so it's it's definitely not on the cheap end of the scale. Mm, okay, I, I was listening to your testing earlier. Um, nice sound. I'd characterise this as being a rental department or performing arts centre floating inventory device. Certainly not at the top end. Yeah, I think that's probably fair. But uh, it's not MI cheap. No. Disposable. It's, it's none of those things. No. Look, it's it's. The, What's the, um you know we the obviously the geography of this is wedge or top box yeah yeah wedge or top box and and look if you're using it in a top box configuration it's got the NL4s on each end so if you're pole mounting it on the end um, the NL4 just clips in basically to the socket straight mm. behind the pole mount yeah. so it's tidy you know it's going to look nice except in a corporate that situation. there's a nice recessed NL4 plate here with the bi amp passive switch and yet on that side where the pole mount exists. The NL4 is not surface mount. Surface yeah. mount. Yeah. Look, I think that's um, I think that's tied in with being able to either wedge link it or for the, for the pole mount application, as I said, I don't think that matters. Mm. And okay. possibly um, also to recess, it would have affected the structural integrity of the top hat, and that's why they haven't done it. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, plastic handle. Yeah, plastic handle. Look, the handle on this is um is a bit of a sore point with me because it's the only one. It's in the wrong place. And it's well, it's in the right place if it's got a friend yeah. around the other side, but it doesn't. So picking it up is um a bit awkward. A little bit awkward. Okay, yeah. it's got flying points. Yeah, it's got flying points. It's, look, it's designed to to do a number of different things. It's got a nice solid grill. The um the actual the the structure of the the wood that it's built out of it it sort of it sounds like it's got a weird kind of resonance when you hit it but that doesn't manifest itself what about when you play music for it no 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 it does it doesn't it doesn't manifest okay. itself at all strangely. Right. now you you tested this with a complementary sub yes i did i tested this in a number of different ways look my my favorite i actually kind of like running this as a full range box with the sub just there as some some additional low end support. So you ran it, I, I know you ran it active and then you checked it passive, which sounded better? Um, surprisingly passive. That's not I, surprising. I didn't get anything out of this in active mode but the active, that I couldn't were, get out of it in passive. What presets were you using for active? Where well, did you get those from? The, uh, the presets technically don't exist for this right, yet because it's go. still So you new. were making up one of your wonky dodgy no actually i called up the preset for the predecessor to this it, in the, the 700 the Jimmy series dubstep preset oh shut up um i don't like your presets well you you haven't heard my presets you haven't heard my presets <laughs> no i don't want my ears broken um but no look the the interesting thing about this you know, in passive mode straight out of the box there there's Whereas characteristically, I found JBL stuff seems to be a bit peaky around sort of the 3K region in the past. This doesn't have that, but it does seem to. It, it's like they've shifted the peak downward a little bit. It's around about 900 hertz. It's probably your but, hearing that shifted downward. No, oh, whatever you reckon. But no, look, pull one little notch out, and um, and it's very very polite as as mm -hmm. a monitor, and and it's very nice as a as a cabinet for playback or you know yep. live. Tough and professional. Yeah, mm. definitely. JBL. And I think you can definitely stick a lot of power into these things without causing them any undue harm. Well, we like that. We do indeed.